for anybody who's looking to get into your line of work, I always wondered, you know, you look at people like yourself, uh, the Stephen A's of the world, like, uh, the, 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 how, how many games a night do you watch? Like, is most of this stuff memory for you? Because you guys know your stats. Right. Like like this. Is, is it just that you have the computer in front of you when you're when you're yeah. broadcasting and you're typing into like how does it work yeah. behind the scenes? Because I'm a person, my memory stinks to begin with. So to do a job like y'all's where you have to know all of the stats, you have to know what any and every player did night over night over night to be able to talk about it the next, like how does that even work? Yeah, I mean, you you have one, it's your job. And you know this, like, if if anybody went to you to talk to you about the music industry, you wouldn't always have to prep. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. what you do. It's what you do constantly. And so that's a part of it. Like, I mean, getting to know the game, even to be able to analyze it to a high level, comes from your years of talking with coaches and players and assistant coaches and executives and learning. I played college basketball, but covering teams, talking to coaches every day from when I was a beat writer, you learn more than you, you didn't know you didn't know these things. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of them. Uh, and then a big part of the job is reading. And obviously you're on the phones talking to people but to stay on top of the league, because, you know, on my radio show and you, you see Stephen A on television, it's not just basketball you're talking. You're talking football, you, you know. That, that's football. why I'm asking. Right. And so you a, a big part of the job is at our level where we're commentators and we're giving we're paid to give our opinions. A big part of the job is watching games. So, yeah, I got league pass and I'm watching a lot of different games but also doing a lot of reading. And, and, and because I'll be honest, it would be very difficult. All these jobs, like these TV shows where you have the debate shows or even national radio shows where we talk all types of stuff. It would have been, they didn't have those in the eighties and they didn't have, national radio wasn't as big in the nineties. It was mainly local sports radio shows. And part of that is because you didn't have the internet and you didn't have access to all the teams all over the league. And so you generally had a general idea of what was going on, but you couldn't read the papers and the stories in all these different parts of the country. You couldn't watch as many games. You know, you know how it was. You didn't have, you didn't have access to all the games. Exactly. So mo most of the stuff was local on sports talk radio. They're talking about the local teams in New York, the local teams in Chicago or whatever, because that's mainly what they were seeing. I don't think 30 years ago, you could have done a show like First Take or Undisputed because they wouldn't know as much because you couldn't read everything about the teams all over the country, you know, and, and all that. So that's a big part of it too. And then we do have research staffs that will help us out. I like to do my own research for the most part because that helps me remember, remember it when I need it. But we do have research staffs that when you need, hey, you know, like there's a talk now. I was talking about Joel Embiid on TV earlier today. He's got there. He's got five 40 point 10 rebound games this year. The rest of the league has four combined. Now that's something research gave me and, and others who are saying it, you know what I'm saying? So you have access to statisticians that will give you the stats and stuff too. And so that, that's a part of it as well. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.